What is going on guys? Grave here. Tomorrow we should be receiving a update here in Destiny 2. This will be a hot fix and of course when this does come out and the patch notes are released I will make a separate video for that. But I just kind of want to give you guys a heads up of what's going to be included within this update. Joe Blackburn who works over at Bungie has been keeping us up to date on a lot of the changes the team is kind of looking to make within the Witch Queen now that we've been able to play the game you know for about a week. There's a lot of things that are wanting to tweak. Uh, several things, including things they wanted to fix before the raid on Saturday, but a lot of things also with weapon crafting. They said they wanted weapon crafting to not be as RNG based as it is going out or as it was for going out and farming a God rolled gun. We still have the options to do that with different weapons we can't craft yet, but at the same time, they say they feel like right now that weapon crafting is a bit of RNG as well, because if you've been playing any of the Wellsprings lately, trying to get those weapon patterns from the Wellspring has been a struggle. I have played hours of Wellsprings over the last three to four days, and I have only received three weapons that I actually could, you know, take some things out of and learn the pattern for. And we, as we know, some weapons you have to, you know, deconstruct or, you know, actually learn the pattern twice, three times, four times, five times. And that's becoming a bit of a grind for a lot of players, considering the Wellspring weapons just are not dropping. You know, they're dropping just the normal versions, but the ones that we can learn patterns from or learn, you know, the parts from are not dropping. Those red bordered wellspring weapons are just kind of non-existent. So he said they're looking to buff the drop rate of those weapons in certain activities, but also they're looking at uh, buffing the drop rate of Ascendant Alloy and in a future update, not tomorrow's, looking at maybe tweaking some of the cost for some things. But when it comes to Ascendant Alloy, that will be included in tomorrow's update. They say they're going to buff those drop rates to be more predictable in Thursday's patch. This will mean higher level activities and completion levels in terms of gold, silver, and platinum will improve your odds of receiving that Ascendant Alloy. Now, of course, we know we can get that Ascendant Alloy from doing our weekly missions. You also can buy one from Raul, but you only can buy one a week. And a lot of people are wanting to experiment with weapon crafting and ascendant alloy is not cheap from raul and plus like i said you only can buy one a week and the drop rate is really really low and then we have a low drop rate of you know pattern weapons from the wellspring so it's kind of turning into a really rng based thing even though that's not what they were wanting weapon crafting to be so hopefully with tomorrow's update that will be fixed but also included in tomorrow's update he says there are a few issues uh, going into the Witch Queen's first raid on Saturday, one of them revolves around suppressing, uh, the suppressing Glaive mod and some of the new Hunter abilities in Void 3.0, which can make you permanently pretty much invisible. Uh, and some weapons also received a uh, accidental exotic primary buff. There's a few legendary weapons out there that are acting like legendary weapons. Or, I mean, excuse me, exotic weapons. And those legendary weapons are not supposed to be like that. He did not say how they're going to change these things uh, with tomorrow's update. So definitely, like I said, when that update's out and the patch notes are released, I will let you guys know. I did make a Glaive Hunter build video today talking about how good the Glaive is with the Hunter because you can stay invisible a lot. There are some bugs and glitches and things with that invisibility as well. So I'm not sure exactly how much they're going to take away from suppressive, uh, some, from suppressive Glaive, excuse me. But at the same time, they may be going ahead and nerfing that. They said they were keeping an eye on that class. So that build video I made today may not be uh, too good by tomorrow or Friday. So if you if you checked out that video today, I'll pop it up in the top corner right now. Definitely give it a look. You may want to run around with that today before they actually uh, kind of crack down on how that build actually works. Now, when it comes to the other things for the raid, I'm sure they're trying to fix some of these weapons so they're not too strong. But I think the main point of all of this is really that weapon crafting update those buffs to ascendant alloys and also trying to make the drop rate for some of these red border weapons a bit easier to acquire like i said tomorrow i will have a video with the patch notes when they are released so leave me a comment with your thoughts of course if you liked it hit the like if you hadn't subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace